tuned for that, but I think we're going to be able to get a lot done. And I know um, uh, both Jen and Bobby will be there uh, uh, doing a lot for these communities here in, in, in North Central Florida, but also uh, things statewide that are very important. So we look forward to digging in and being able to do that. Uh, today, though, we're here to be able uh, to provide some, uh, some, some grants, a grant for uh, Union County um, here and in Lake Butler. We have had uh, a lot of opportunities to do some stuff to fortify infrastructure in a variety of ways. One of the ways is some of the money that, that comes in over a long-term uh, period of time uh, after some of these hurricanes. And so Hurricane Irma, you, we got money, and uh, this takes years and years, and Dane Eagle can talk about it, uh, but we have the opportunity to help fortify infrastructure in places throughout the state. And when you're talking about something like Irma, I mean, it hit almost the entire state other than the panhandle. And so we have the ability to do that. So today, uh, we're going to be uh, providing some support to be able to, to harden infrastructure here in Union County. Uh, this will be something that will be good uh, to prepare uh, for future disasters and make the county uh, more resilient. And so this is a community development block grant program that is administered by the Department of Economic Opportunity. And we're going to be able to do today to the city of Lake Butler $3.5 million for the wastewater collection and pumping system hardening. And so that will go um, a long way. Uh, they'll be able to harden the master pump station, uh, wastewater force main resiliency, and provide generators for six different pump stations. And so this is something that uh, we were happy to do, particularly to be able to help uh, our rural areas. And I think that this will serve this system serves pretty much every, every resident of the city, uh, which, is, which is a really big deal. So we are going to continue to, uh, to work with uh, our local communities uh, to be able to do value-added things. And so I actually have the, where's the check right here? So I'll present it to you all, so whoever wants to come and get in this picture. Yeah. You guys want to? We are also, uh, for the legislative session, going to be asking for uh, $230 million in funding, uh, economic development funding for rural communities. And so that's more of a $100 million increase over the previous year. That will go to a, a lot of different things, some just traditional infrastructure. We're also doing a lot on rural broadband. Uh, it's interesting, though, when you look at the rural broadband gaps, it's not just all in, in small counties. We have large counties that actually have and populated counties, but in the non-areas that aren't as populated, you have gaps there too. So it really does impact a lot of places throughout the state. So we're going to be doing that, and we look forward to doing that. And I think it's going to be a really good year for infrastructure generally, and I think it'll be a good year for the budget um, overall. Okay, Mayor, uh, do you want to come up and uh, say a few things? I'd like to thank the governor for providing us this grant. Uh, it's going a long way toward, as he said, in hardening our infrastructure. We've uh, acquired other grants, uh, th but th this is going to help us quite a bit. I'd also like to thank uh, Senator Bradley and Representative Payne for all their efforts over the last couple of years helping us, as well as our city manager, Dale Walker, and Midtower and Associates, our engineers, that are making this happen today. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Yep. All right, Secretary Dane Eagle, Department of Economic Opportunity. Well, I want to thank the governor for his focus on these issues. Uh, we're talking about Hurricane Irma four and a half years ago, and some may think, well, why now? This is money for last resort to help meet unmet needs. At the Department of Economic Opportunity, we have the Office of Long-Term Resiliency. So we look for areas across the state that are still trying to recover from past storms, and that's the exact purpose of these funds. So the governor has directed us to make sure that we're looking in pockets of the state that really have a need, and that's what we're doing today. This $3.5 million is going to go a long way to make sure that uh, the city and the county don't have to suffer again after a future storm. We're going to harden uh, the, the wastewater resiliency uh, pumps to make sure that uh, sewage isn't flowing into the streets. That's uncalled for. 
We're here to help the city and the county. Uh, very happy to make this award today, and we have more to do. So we look forward to continuing to work with Floridians to make sure that they are resilient for future storms. Thank you to the governor for his leadership. And we've, uh, Irma was a really significant event. I mean, it, it was a, it was obviously a, a powerful storm. It wasn't on the, on the, um, in terms of the ferocity of the winds like Andrew or even Michael, um, but it was such a big one and it hit so much of the state uh, that it was really a unique event in, in the history of, of Florida. So we're happy to be able to, to take some of that funding and recognize that there's needs all across the state and be able to be here and, and, and help out um, in that regard. Um, well, what else do you guys need? Is there anything else we can do for you? <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, you, I'm sure you guys can talk to your legislators and be able to figure out uh, what would make sense, but we, we look forward to a productive legislative session, and I think, uh, I think you'll be happy here with, uh, with what we're able to accomplish. Okay, anybody have anything? Yes, ma'am.